You know, working out is something many of us associate with a gym, but more of us are using space in our home to exercise. Certainly, we've seen that shift during the mm -hmm. pandemic, right? But, you know, going it alone could increase the risk of injury. WBRE 28, WIOU 22. Eyewitness <laughs> News Health reporter Mark Killer here in studio to explain, Mark. Hi, Nick and Candace. My exercise equipment of choice for me is a treadmill, but for others it could be elliptical bikes, weights, or resistance bands. Whatever it is, you want to make sure you're doing it safely while reaching your optimal fitness health goals. From Peloton to high intensity interval training to hot yoga, at home exercise options may seem endless to many of us. But once they start doing exercises and they jump into exercises that they're not familiar with, certainly the likelihood of injury increases, so it's, it's certainly a concern. What's especially concerning to this biomechanics injury expert is called HIT, or high intensity interval training. It requires short bursts of intense exercise, followed by lower intensity activity. To prevent injury, we kind of consider this 10% rule, so to speak. In other words, you don't want to increase the amount of load that you do by 10% for any given week so that you don't expose yourself to this, to this high potential for injury. The same goes for many other fad exercises. They're essentially uh, too much, too fast, too soon. They push the individuals a little bit too much too early, which obviously can expose them to injuries. So what can help you achieve your optimal fitness health goals safely? Dr. Rami says for starters, aerobics. Anything that gets our heart rate going so that we can certainly supply oxygen to our blood and, and to our tissue. Typically the goal is about 150 minutes of what's referred to as moderate activity, moderate cardiovascular activity a week. Think faster paced walking or running, biking and swimming. Uh, swimming is a great one for, for instance, individuals who have maybe a little bit of pain in the knees. And don't overlook general core training, even if a washboard stomach is out of reach. The core doesn't mean just having a six pack of abs <laughs> by any means. It means in really developing the muscles that stabilize our body, right? So our lower back muscles, obviously our, our abdominal muscles, muscles, excuse me, our hips. Dr. Rami says a lot of injuries are the result of weakness in the hips. He recommends resistance training two or three times a week to ensure your muscles stay strong. Keep in mind, consult with your doctor before beginning any exercise routine and always listen to your body. Don't push it. And head to PAHomepage.com for more helpful at-home exercise tips. With the healthy Mark Hiller, 2822 Eyewitness News. Mark, thanks.